Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be looking into super tools, what they are and when we might use them. A super tool uses a set of Python files to both create a custom UI for your node using the UI module included in Katana, which is currently PyQt5, as well as being able to dynamically control the internal structure. Katana comes with some example super tools that you can find if you go to the Katana root directory and then you want to go to plugins, source, resources, examples, super tools. And I've just opened up this folder in Sublime. And in there, you can see we have three different examples. There's a 2D image node, the image coordinate, a 3D node called Pony Stack, and this third one, which is Sky Dome, which is a super tool package. And I'll explain a little bit more about packages later. Uh, now, if you want to include these nodes inside Katana, you would want to add the plugins, resources, examples to your um, Katana resources environment variable. And then when you open Katana, we'll now be able to add it, these extra nodes. So we've got the pony stack and the image coordinate. And then with the Sky Dome, that's actually something that gets added to the Gaffer 3. And I'll explain about that in a minute. So um, let's have a look at this pony stack node. What does it do? It has uh, something you'll be familiar with, with a parameter that you can add a location. And it also has this UI that has been built. And you click the plus button and it adds a pony. We expand out our scene graph. We'll see that a pony has been added. And once you have a pony, you can then use a transform to move it. So if we say add a second pony, and then just translate that by 10, we have our two ponies. And you can see that the name here is what is named in the scene graph. And then you can also uh, click on a pony and hit delete and it'll remove it. And there's um, some options here. So under your wrench icon, you can add a pony. And as well, if you right click here, there's an add pony option too. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at the underlying code. So let's jump back over here. Okay, let's have a look at pony stack. So we're going to expand this out. And it starts off with an init pi. And what this will do is register your super tool through the plugin registry. So it imports what version number you're on. So you use the folders as your versions, and this is doing version one as pony stack. And then using the plugin registry, it says it's going to be a super tool with a minimum Katana version of two. The name is going to be pony stack. And then it brings in the pony stack node and the editor. So uh, if we look inside the init pi that inside your version, you'll see that that is um, importing from your node a Python file, the pony stack node class, and it's using this function of get editor to pull in the pony stack editor class. So uh, let's have a quick look at these two. So the editor.py is where you set up your UI. And um, here is your pony stack editor class. And you go through and you have your initialization and you set up your UI for it. And then you can do things like uh, show events and hide events uh, and set up event handlers and have internal functions to build everything up. And if there's any updates, and we'll go through this in the example. Uh, and then we've got uh, an action delegate that's set up. And this is how you add in those options on the wrench menu and the context menu. And then you'll just add in this delegate to the uh, register action delegate. Okay. And then the node.py is where you actually build your internal structure. So creating, uh, you know, the merge node that's inside and how you add a pony, uh, actually add, add the pony node. And you delete the pony node and reorder and things like that. Then you've got this script actions 
where you have functions that will be shared between both the editor and the node. And finally, you have this upgrade.py that you can use to check to see if your node is out of date and then uh, run some code to update it. Okay, uh, the image coordinate one is uh, pretty similar, so it has the same kind of setup. So we won't go through that. And then the Sky Dome is something a bit different. And this is a package, a super tool package that you would use to add into the Gaffer 3. So the Gaffer 3 has this packaging system and it is how you define what a light does, what a rig does, what a filter does, and any uh, renderers that want to add anything to the Gaffer 3 can add it through this um, super tool package so you have uh, again the same kind of thing where you have an init pi but this time all you're doing is importing the sky dome you're not actually registering it as a plugin and then in your init pi you're now doing a package super tool api instead and you're importing the sky dome package and then using the delegate only if it's in ui mode and the delegate is how you build the ui uh, so it adds to the current Gaffer 3 the UI for that. And then the package is the internal node structure that will be made whenever you add that package. So what we can do is if we go back to Katana, let's go to our Gaffer 3 node. What we can do is go to our Python tab. Let's middle mouse click and drag our Gaffer 3 node over here. And let's save that. It's a variable gaffer three. And then from our gaffer three, so we're going to get root package. And we'll store that root package variable. What that is doing, we go inside our gaffer 3 node is getting this node here which is called our root package and if we go inside that we can see that currently it just has this location create and then if we say for our root package create child package we're going to create a rig package store that as a rig package variable and that's now made a rig in our ui and created this node which is our rig package node so that's basically what happens in this ui when you right click and add and add something like a rig it's adding running this code of uh, create child package and add in this node with everything inside it uh, and then say for example we could take our rig package and create child package and make a area light package light package now if we go inside our rig package we have our area light package and if we go inside this, we can see what an area light package has. So it has a light create, an attribute set, materials, material signs, all these things. And, you know, depending on which renderer you use, it will have different packages. So, uh, you know, a 3D light, light package will look different to a render man light package. And, you know, they all define their own packages how they want. Okay. Uh, so now you have a bit of an understanding of how you can uh, utilize a uh, super tool. So you can build uh, something that has a UI and then you can use functions inside of it to change those nodes. And it's important to think about that when you build uh, your super tool, what functions will be um, also available to the user. Because you can see it's quite easy now for me to build things in the Gaffer 3 using those functions. 
uh, and you can do all sorts of things so you could be able to then you know iterate over all of these different packages and get things like the material node inside and change the parameters